offline. A moose for moose. Really, folks? Yes. Really. Yes. A moose for moose. We will explain. Okay, so in the chat. Oh, hello. Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. Yeah, he's the rock star, right? Okay, in the chapel, Romans 12, 6. Will you put that up? We have different gifts according to the gifts given us. So um, it's Christmas time coming up. Everybody has a gift. Um, we just ask that you use it. Get that off your head. That's my mirror for taking my contacts out. I took my contacts out. You see me in my beautiful glasses today. You said to put this up. Hey, wait, just wait, 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 wait. Look, I am going to show We're you. late again this week. Look. We're on my opposites. What are you trying to show them? Look in the mirror on the camera and you can see us. And you can us. see us on the us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, We're done. Okay. So, in the barn stalls. <laughs> Come on. There's stuff going on in the barn stalls. What is it? What happened today? Or yesterday, we don't know because somebody didn't do what he was supposed to do. I went and checked yesterday. Mm -hmm. I went there. What time did you check yesterday? One or two. So as the snow melted away, and I've been saying that Bidet is pregnant for how many days now? For how You've long? You've been saying it for about a year now. <laughs> anyway, um, what happened? She had a baby. She did a little baby boy with a white face, and we're calling it Snowflake Obsidian. No, we're what are you calling it? Snowman. You're calling it Snowman. A lot of people online are He's so down, Snowman. Um, a lot of people online are really over the whole gemstone thing, aren't they? They don't realize okay. how many names you have I to come up with. I don't want to come off as. Oh yes, I don't want to come off completely as well. I'm about to come off. Told you so, folks. We should have <laughs> voted for TV shows. Okay, I told you. All right. <laughs> I don't he want to sound like a no warn, but yes, he I tried did. to warn everybody. I tried to warn you guys. And somebody actually commented, he's like, really? Are we not over that yet? Um, anything that's considered 2018 season is a gemstone. Mm -hmm. We don't get to change until 2019. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so told if, if the two so fall weird. lambs or anything, the goats or anything that we did as fall breeders had taken they would also be gemstones just saying so um okay so what else is in the barn stalls how is squirt squirt's good what happened to squirt no squirt is not good squirt got hit by a sheep several times to a point where she was bawling out wasn't she mm -hmm. and rj had to go get her and move her to a different pen does she go my earphones in. does she go to this pen all the time now? well with the snow she's been staying in hadn't she yep who's in with her anybody Rat. There we we figured out that rat could make about three. You got enough post to join it. Let's send you to Mexico. Okay, you put that back on there because if not, they won't mail it. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> That's mm. posted. It says zero dollars. I know, but you have to show that it was on there. Anyway, um, so rat's in there with her. And she's doing really good, isn't she? She's starting to eat. Um, she's munching on hay a lot, which is good. Her that means her gut and her ruminant is working, right? Yep. Um, anything else? Bidet. You need to explain what's going to happen now with the day because we started breeding season and we started the bull, mm -hmm. and he was out there for how much? A know. month, which is not normally. How long we leave him, but what's happened because the day didn't take till late. What happened? We're gonna pull him for a month. Okay, explain why. So that way she doesn't breed right back. Okay. Um, with cattle, you don't want to turn around. We don't want her off our program, but um, we don't want her to be bred right back. And yes, she now is open, and she just had him today, and she is able to breed right now, isn't she? Technically, yes. Oh, yep, so if, she, if she's cycling, she could breathe. But we're not going to, are we? So we're going to pull the bull for 30 days and then put him back out there for the winter, right? Yep. So hopefully that will put them all back on the same schedule. But 
It may not, huh? And we may just start pulling in November, kicking him out to the pasture for good, right, for the winter. Yep. Um, because we can't, we just, it's too hard on their bodies to do any more than that. So um, we talked to a gentleman, and they said the vet recommended no less than 30 days. So she'll be 30 days, and then whenever she cycles after that, so it almost makes it, what, 60 days? Yep. Because she'll cycle three weeks after that. So, makes it seven weeks, mm -hmm. right? Yep. I cut off there. <laughs> okay. Will you stop and take care of in the barn stalls? This is your segment. Huh. He's eating marshmallows. Mm -hmm. I'm just drinking coffee. So, um, okay. So. What else has been going on? Uh -uh. Come on, finish the podcast first. I know, it's terrible. All right, in the barn salts, anything else? I'm about to have to change my coach. That's not in the barn stalls. What I might else? need to warm my fingers. What else? It's cold outside. Okay, okay, that's later. Okay, so mending fences, anything that broke that had to be fixed? Mm -hmm. The truck. You're hoping the boogeyman will do it, huh? Yep. What happened? Broke fan belt on the truck. Which truck? The one that goes rum, rum, rum. Okay. It sounds like a chainsaw. The it's gold the truck. gold truck. All right, so tell them about the guy that got the brand new truck. Guy I've been working for, he's got a brand new truck. It's his mm -hmm. uncle, okay? Yeah. Just saying. His uncle. And, uh, got I a brand new truck. And uh, couldn't get it to start this morning. So I popped off to him on the way when I was leaving. I said, Yep, 300,000 miles, and it starts every time. And I broke the fan belt going home. <laughs> so, <laughs> you want me to come back up and finish doing some stuff we're doing after lunch? I have to text him and tell him, he broke the fan belt on the truck. <laughs> he goes, all right, I'll stop and get you. He gets in the truck. He gets and? in the truck. I don't even get sat down in the truck. <laughs> and he goes, what happened to 300,000 miles? It starts every time. I told him, I said, it'll start. I said, but it won't go anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> Had no power steering, and the alternator didn't work without the belt. So, nope. It's pretty funny, huh? Uh huh. Put his foot in his mouth that time. Oh but yeah. That's okay. I picked up the fan belt. Time won't be the last it's time. sitting over there, and you're gonna do it tomorrow, right? Because right now the boogeyman's gonna get you, huh? Yep. Sounds first time I put my foot in my mouth, and it won't be the last time, folks. So I just kind of get used to it. Okay. Um. Anything else? Mending fences. Yes. What? What else you breaking care of? We broke the bank. <laughs> no, we're broke, not the bank. Huh. Um. Okay, in the yarn farm, we're getting ready for the thing, but you haven't brought in the tumbler to get the stuff. I've been after him too, and he has not done yeah. it. He needs I'm to get the tumbler. Yeah. Well, then he's gonna have to do what five of those every friggin' night. Yes, yes, I am. No, he's going to get them in here because we're taking more with us this year. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, so, she says. Whatever. And then um, we did a farm visit. Yep. Correct. Mm -hmm. With a youth. Um, mm -hmm. She's interested in the intern program, but she's got to earn her way here. Mm -hmm. She's also in one of our other programs. So, right? Yeah. Um, Anything else? These don't work, right? In the field. No, they don't. In the field. Should I be. haven't been out to the garden. I've been working. And so normally this time of year with the first snowfall and the frost, um, my gourd should be, um, the stem should be hardening off. So I'm going to go out there and try and get some of those. Um, herbs are gone for the pretty much. Do not cut yourself. I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. uh, remember the last time I forgot? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do not, uh, uh, don't, don't cut my good table. <laughs> Do not. Okay. Let's go get a cutting board and you can cut anything you want. Go get that little white cut board. I was going to say, you just leave your hand there and I'll oh, finish. Oh, no. <laughs> God. <laughs> <sighs> He's cutting on this, which I don't care. It's broke. He just wants to see what's, it's like a little kid. He wants to see what's in it. And, um, I don't have a problem with that. But what I do have a problem with is he's cutting Nobody it. Nobody reads this nice. anyways. Nope. Leave it folded in half. There you go. All right. Hey, my marshmallow from under there. Be nice with my marshmallow. I don't want to cut through my good tablecloth, which is my fall tablecloth. It's all sparkly. 
<laughs> All right. What else? Nothing else in the field? I won't open. I don't think it's meant to open, to be honest. No. Do not put your thumb on that and push down. Oh my gosh. You guys can see see them blood pretty soon. The dog's <laughs> over there with pop bottles making the bottle pop. Making you jump. Yep. Um, okay, so pretty much I've just been working. Mm -hmm. doing. So let's move on to In the Farmhouse. It's kind of going to be a short one, isn't it? Um, in the farmhouse, how'd you do with your open? Terrible. What happened? I guess I suck. Let's you see. do not. I didn't do very good. Okay, so tell him why. Quit yeah. messing with this and talk. Look how far he's got. Okay, he's got the little pop off. Woohoo. And he's got a little silver thing in there. Okay, now tell us what um, happened. Something got me. Dang it. Tell me what happened. I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you. Tell um, me what happened. Went to Wonder Open this weekend. Um, broke Bear on my first one. Jerked my next one down. Then... What did you do after that? Oh, I missed the next two. Yep. But you did get a compliment out of the deal. What was it that guy was saying? Okay, so this... That was a while back. So you're not going to tell him at all? No. Why not? Because I said... Then I'll tell him. You tell him. Okay, so there's this. Ow. <laughs> I didn't even get something in there potent. Yes, it's wires. Oh. Um, oh, okay, so RJ is sitting on a fence behind the chutes at one of the rodeos or ropens or whatever. And one no, guy it's comes really up. Really not going to work. I'm going to screw the story up if you don't tell it. I know. I'm going to let you murder <laughs> it and then I'll just kind of shorthand it. Um, anyway, he's sitting back there, and, and the gentleman has always been around RJ, and this other kid comes up and starts giving him a hard time, correct? Mm -hmm. So what does the other guy say to the kid who's giving you a hard time? He said, I used to give him a hard time, too, until I realized he doesn't copy anyone. He does his own thing. And he really doesn't care what you think about it. He goes where he, he wants, wants to go. go. Does what he wants does to do. Does what he wants to do. And he, he doesn't really care what you think about it. Right? Yep. And then everybody started thinking about it. Yep. <laughs> He's given a hard time about his hair. He's oh, given yeah. a hard time about his shaving. He's given a hard time because he, um, what do they call it, pulls from the belt? Yep. And I use long rope. And he uses a long rope. Um, pulls from the belt. Most calf ropers, you'll see him put it in their mouth. RJ doesn't because he's had thousands of dollars worth of work on his teeth. And they're still not great. So he puts his in his belt and will tie from there. So um, what else do you do that is different? What else do people give? He uses a long rope and a heavy rope. For years, people told him, you don't need that heavy of a rope, correct? Yep. So, he uses the heaviest rope there is, correct? An 11? Yep, I do. And people just tell him he doesn't need that heavy of a rope, and he goes, but I don't miss with that rope. Yeah, so. I'm burning the crap out of this one. You watch your mouth. Well, look at it. Burn. Okay, but don't copy his words. There's two words now that's bad. Yeah, burn it. That's bad. No. And we're not the same again, just to tell you what they are. Anyway, so he was given that compliment, even though his rope was You, you almost poked me. You, you almost just stabbed yourself. <gasps> that was funny. <laughs> um anything else. We've been listening to lots of Christmas music. I've started Christmas. And it's on baking. the camera. <laughs> Okay. Yep, and I've started Christmas baking. What have I made so far? Spritz cookies. How many dozen spritz cookies did you? How many dozen spritz cookies did you eat? About six in one day. Yep. Haven't eaten very many since then, though. Spritz cookies. We made cornmeal and nutmeg. We made um, biscotti. Mm -hmm. We made meringue. And then I made peanut butter fudge and regular fudge. Correct? 
And my boss told me to quit bringing so many cookies to work, and I didn't. <laughs> Matter of fact, I dropped off more today, didn't I, son? Yeah. And fudge. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I love Christmas. You're taking a salad tomorrow. Tell him you're watching a fearless figure. For Thursday, I might do that. Tell him there's a salad in the fridge. Yeah, so you can watch his girlish figure. Mm -hmm. I asked him if I was supposed to watch his girlish figure. If he was going to watch his girlish figure, or should I bring less cookies? And he goes, bring less cookies. <laughs> Cheryl likes them, though, right? Mm -hmm. And Larry. Um, it's a trucking company. And so I actually clean the house for the owner of the trucking company. And so I just leave the cookies on the table. He's got kids and, you know, and they all eat it. And his mom tries them. And so, yeah, they pass them around. Mm -hmm. But Carol liked them. Cheryl liked them. Larry is a mechanic in the shop. And I always take Cheryl some. She's the secretary at the shop. So I took her some and she shares with Larry. But I told her I'd put more in there because Larry apparently is eating more than his fair share. And Cheryl's husband wasn't getting any because she wasn't able to take them home if Larry ate them all. So it's interesting. It's fun. A lot of people enjoying them and trying things that they normally wouldn't do. This week, I'm going to dip pretzels. Um, I'm going to try and make up the Liebkuchen and the Pfeffernus. Yeah. And so why am I making all these then? I have no idea. Nobody's going to eat that one that you just said. How do you know? Because I've tried. Liebkuchen is mine. I love it. There's mm. no, and I'm going to take Cheryl and all them. Yeah, I love that one. Um, Carol will like that one. It's a molasses based. It's kind of like gingerbread, but it's got a lemony. It's really cool. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, um, I used to bake years and years and years ago, correct? And then we kind of got away with it, got away from it and just did chocolate chip and oatmeal. Well, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of everybody being gripey, so I'm just going to bake what I want to bake. And I'm going to share them with the world. So I have literally... I went to Sam's and bought 25 pounds of flour, 25 pounds of sugar. I don't know how many. Is it a 10 pound or 15 pound bag of brown sugar? 10. 10. And so I have just been baking. I'm baking. And I'm giving them away to everybody at work and having fun. Look, right? I'm a dying head. Um, so Liebkuchen, Pfeffernus, and dip pretzels this week. Right? And what is next week? Thanksgiving. Yeah, that hurts. Well, Tom! Mom's going to cook a bunch more. Okay. A whole meal. If you are in Oklahoma and you want to come eat with us, you come on. We'll have a ham, a turkey, deviled eggs, mashed potatoes, gravy. You're supposed to make a list today, aren't you? And tomorrow I'm going grocery wow. shopping for it. <sighs> Man, my fortune telling gods. That, that's not a good card for you. The three of clubs? Yeah, it's not a good card. Why? Right. It's the SBC I want. It's got a cute little dummy on it. I'm going to tell you your fortune. It's five cards. Okay. Right. So cards. I got a three. Yeah. Uh, a seven with a Vimagana. Not looking good. Why? I got ten. All right. All right. That's looking a little better. Okay. You got an ace with a ferret. I don't even know if that's right set up yet. Yeah, there is an ace with a ferret. Yeah. So, that right there is 21. Blackjack. <laughs> oh, you said five cards? Yeah, then five. I have a king. One-eyed kitty cat. And, Let's see here. okay, what does all this mean? What does it have to do? And a four. I I'm being know. a fortune teller, okay? So, let's see. 14. The king is a 10. That would be 25, 24. Yeah, I'll lay out five. 25. Okay, okay, so I don't know what this means. Is it just a poker hand? No, 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 no. I, then how I does mean, it tell your fortune? Yeah. All right. Because I got a four and a three, which makes a seven, and a seven, and seven. Two sevens. That's a pair right there, I'm telling you. And an ace. Ace is always good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a king, queen, jack, five, and a three. So what's your fortune? Looks a little better than yours, but not by much. How? <laughs> he our doesn't fortunes, have these skills. <laughs> our fortunes, man. We better get good at bluffing. 
Okay, right, so let's see here. um but anything else going on? Because we need to finish this. Okay, no more fortune telling. No more fortune telling. On the bright side, I would have a pair of jacks. <laughs> if it had been Bo Green, I'd gotten a pair of jacks. Okay, anything else? No, not really. I think we're just messing around. Don't have a whole lot going on. Decorated for fall. Going to have Thanksgiving. So, um, yeah. Other than that, we're going to sign off and say adios. Um, adios, amigos. Until we see you again. Oh well, my it. friends. We, we we do this every time. We're not going to see them. They're on camera. Until you see us again, my friend. Oh hey. Hey look, this hand looks good now. Now it looks real good. I got two pair of threes and two kings. Can't oh, hit the yeah. button.